Okay, one of the things that uh, we haven't talked about yet, and obviously it's very uh, important to the topic of leather golf grips, and that's actually the kind of leather that we've used. I haven't done a whole lot of leather work, and I'm not a leather expert at all. So a lot of this is kind of trying to read as much as I can and see uh, you know, what I can glean from clubs that were made in the past, um, how to make leather so that it's nice and tacky. It's got that good feel that we've uh, liked over the ages when it comes to leather grips. Now, the first thing I did is I started out and I went to Tandy. This is a seven, eight ounce, just a shoulder. It was something to start with. Um, wasn't even really sure if it was the right type of material. And as, as it came out, I did one grip in it, but the material, seven, eight ounces, is really, really thick. This is really firm and it's hard to get it supple enough and it's actually hard to get it grip to the right size um, when it comes to material this thick. So seven, eight ounce, I figured out um, pretty quickly that uh, it just wasn't the right material, just too, uh, too thick. Um, so if anybody needs a shoulder of uh, seven, eight ounce leather, I've got it for you right here. I came back and I bought another shoulder. This is uh, three, four ounce. And uh, all the ounce means is just the thickness. This is a lot more supple and a lot more pliable. Um, I think this, you know, fits the bill. Both of these are probably vegetable tan, which is just the process they use. And again, I'm not a leather expert. So, um, you know, this is what I picked up. Whether or not I can apply materials to this to make it nice and tacky afterward, um, we'll just have to see. That's one of the things that we'll be experimenting with over time. Kind of show you what I've done here. This is a putter grip that um, I did. It's been on this club for about a year. Uh, it's the three, four ounce material. Stitched it up. You, know, you can see some of the uh, stitching starting to kind of come off. I didn't have a ferrule design, so it, and I didn't have a butt cap design, so it's kind of just all pieced together. Uh, but I've actually liked this. Now the one issue that I have is that this leather has become very, very slick. So, you know, one of the issues that I had with this and applying it was uh, if, you, if you really wrapped it really tight, you made the leather fairly slick. I did apply a mixture of, I had found something that had uh, canuba wax, had some neat's foot oil, and some pine resin, and I, kind of boiled up a mixture and treated this. And it seemed to do okay initially, but again, uh, this grip got really, really uh, slick. You know, it, this leather, if it was on a couch, would be beautiful, it'd be perfect. But for a golf grip that you're really trying to get some uh, grip to and you want some tackiness, um, we didn't quite hit the mark here. Um, but again, you know, the idea is to try and mess around with this. So I'm gonna actually try and put a couple of topicals on it, um, whether it's like a Lexol oil conditioner or something of that sort. So I'll let you know how this comes out. But again, you know, these are the very first materials that we've been working with. Uh, I'm not convinced that they're actually the uh, materials that we're gonna end up uh, landing on when it comes to optimizing our grips. But uh, you know, from uh, getting started, uh, if I wanna make errors, right now I'd like to make errors with relatively uh, inexpensive material. In addition, I think that, you know, once we identify something that's supple, you know, like I said, this three, four ounce is really nice and it's soft, it's got a good feel to it. So I think it's just a matter of figuring out how to apply it to the club and then how to treat it beyond that. 